Hi, Chris Cavas here at Urinaval 2024. Today we're talking with Oded Breyer. He's the Vice President for Marketing at Israel Shipyards in Haifa, Israel. Nice to meet you, Oded. Nice to meet you. Uh, thank you for coming. Good morning to you. Good morning. So I want to talk about how you're doing business. Everyone here is making things and trying to market things and sell things and show off their products, but no one here is in the midst of a real war. You're doing business in the midst of a real war. The war's been going on for over a year now. And I'd like to talk about some of the challenges you're dealing with in continuing to work in, in that environment. Yeah, uh, thank you for asking. Um, the war is uh, a long one for us this time. Uh, it's more than a year already. Uh, we are facing some challenges in this business. Uh, we are committed to support the Israeli Navy, but at the same time we have commitment to customers worldwide. About 70% of our products are for export. And customers uh, show a lot of respect to our challenges, but still they want their goods and time. So uh, we were able during this time to um, uh, support both needs, the customers uh, from abroad as well as the Israeli Navy. Uh, in parallel, in some cases we had to work uh, through uh, nights or uh, uh, second shift, uh, but we, we made it on time for everybody. Uh, it is challenging because in this type of uh, war, uh, the very beginning of the war, the few, first few months, some of our guys, the younger guys, uh, had to uh, join the reserve yeah. forces, so we were missing some of them. It meant, of course, that some others had to work uh, double time or double shifts and so on. We made it. Nowadays, uh, we are in Haifa, which is um, the north part of Israel. So we are suffering from some uh, uh, challenges coming from the north part, um, rockets and so on, uh, which we are quite protected by the Iron Dome and uh, uh, so on. So we have decided uh, that the office uh, ladies uh, will work from home, uh, where they have shelter. The others cannot take um, the, the ships home to work at home, so they come to the, to the shipyard as usual. And yes, once, twice a day we have the siren on and we go to shelter. And then a few minutes later we can go back to work. Uh, it's not changing much, except for the atmosphere. We are waiting for the end of all this. Uh, but we understand that it's very, very uh, important for us to keep all the commitments to all the customers, from Israel or from abroad. How about your, your suppliers? You, you, um, your, your boats are equipped with components from other suppliers. Has that been a problem for you? Uh, it's becoming a problem in some cases. Um, if you think about uh, Scandinavia countries, uh, some of them, uh, UK, France of course, and Spain, we didn't buy much from France, but uh, UK is important for us, and it is uh, a kind of a problem. Uh, if we can't find a solution with uh, uh, our um, suppliers, which we worked with them long term, but it's not their choice, it's governmental structure, I suppose, in many cases. We are looking for alternatives um, in other uh, locations in the world. Mm -hmm. We don't like it. It means that we have to change the design in some cases, right. which takes time and efforts, but uh, we have no choice. We don't believe that we should be influenced because we are offering platforms. Uh, later on, they will be equipped or not equipped. It depends on the customer's uh, uh, decision. But at the end of the day, we are offering platforms which are uh, very uh, natural in, in a way. But um, all the suppliers are um, subject to the uh, local decisions. We understand that. We, don't, we are not happy, but we understand that. Have you had to change engines or something like that? Uh, no. Uh, till now, we are happy with uh, this situation. But uh, we had some other systems, funny cases that, uh, I mean, simple systems, air conditioning and so on that are restricted all of a sudden. Why? I don't understand, but maybe I should not understand. It's better. We are trying our best not to deal with politics. Uh, we have uh, orders to fulfill, and we have to find alternatives as much as needed. And I know you're still you're here marketing. Your, your portfolio includes Shaldog patrol vessels, which you've sold a number of. Um, this is the this R4.5, the S80. This is the S80, yeah. This is the Reshef class and this is the export version. As I said, about 70% of our uh, products are for export. Uh, this one was designed for the Israeli Navy. We have our own design force, about 50 engineers mm -hmm. in-house. Uh, and this is uh, uh, completed for the Israeli Navy, but 
customers uh, abroad would like to have it with different versions, either as OPV or Corvette, with helicopter, without helicopter. Some of them are using drones, some of them are using other uh, uh, items. So we are offering it for exports. Uh, nowadays we are talking for, with some customers of ours. As you know, uh, this is a very long process. Uh, when you start discussing a project like this, until uh, you finalize it, um, it might take a couple right. of years at least, sometimes more. So we are talking to customers about that. Israeli Navy is uh, using this one to replace the SAR 4.5 that are very old. I, I was a commanding officer of one of them uh, about 40 years ago and she's still on the water in service. So they are quite old. Yeah. I know you were just offering, I believe you're, you're uh, offering it to the Philippines right now, is that correct? Uh, among others, yes sir. Among others. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thank you very much.